Hello, Brian Hogg here from Event Calendar Shortcode Pro, and this is a quick tutorial on how to find any CSS that your theme might be adding that you want to remove or change for your listing of events. So the site's in Swedish, but here is the uh, listing of events that they have. And if we, in Chrome, right click and then go to inspect, you can see that there's some extra space that we want to remove. And it's being added by this rule here, this margin bottom 16 pixels. I'll increase the size of that a little bit. Perfect, so you can see it's feature content entry title and it's got margin bottom 16. So we need to override that and I just want to override it for an ECS-event class. So within a single event or even ECS events if you want. So if I go, uh, if I copy this here, so feature content, you can tell that it's this part, feature content entry title, because see how this is grayed out, but this one is solid black. So that's the rule that's actually being applied in this case. So if I copy this part, hit plus, paste that in, and then also add ECS event at the beginning, so it's only affecting that. So now if I go margin bottom zero, no, it's still not doing the trick, so there must be some other rule or it's not important enough. So actually if I go important, oh, it must be because feature content is at the beginning, yes. So feature content is actually happening before, so entry title is before, but now if I go entry title, yeah, so actually I'll go, I need to put this here, because feature content is before ECS event is in between, there we go. So now I don't think I need this important anymore. Yes, there we go. So you can see again, feature content is the ID which is happening before that, then this ECS event, then it's entry title. So I had to put the ECS event in between feature content and entry title to get that to work. Good, so the other issue with this theme is that it's got a bunch of space before and after. So we can see that that's being applied on the div. So there's the padding there, okay, which is actually happening, yeah, but it's just accentuated a little bit uh, for this theme. So uh, we can, again, add a bit more styling there where we say ECS events dot default dot ECS event. And maybe I'll do this within uh, feature content. So it's something more specific to this page. There, and so now we need to reduce that padding. So I could do something like maybe just 1 EM 0, or reduce it even a bit more. So we could do 0 0.5, 0, something like that. So that then reduces the space in between each of these. And I would copy this whole rule, so I could just select this and copy it, and then I could go into the customize as of uh, WordPress 4.7, you can just go to customize and there is a custom CSS function, or you could use Jetpack, which also has a module to add this custom CSS. So I would add this CSS along with the CSS rule I just added to reduce the margin at the bottom. So that's how you can change and use a bit of CSS to change the output of the event calendar shortcode pro output.